Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today I've got something pretty cool. Back at Facebook Connect, they announced the Oculus Developer Hub, and that's what you're actually looking at right now. Oculus Developer Hub gives developers a bunch of tools at the click of a button. Uh, previously, you had to go out to developer.oculus.com and find the files that you wanted, find the documentation you wanted. Now all of that is kind of centralized right here within the application, which is pretty sweet. So I just have a test app here. Um, we've got common actions. You can look at the developer release loads, the developer dashboard, documentation on ODH itself. Um, but there's also a package manager. So if we look at the available packages, these are all packages and tools that you can deploy on your PC for development for Oculus devices. And of course, this is really targeted toward the Quest and Quest 2 at the current time. So one of the really cool features and something that hasn't been enabled for regular use as of yet. Um, and, and, and if you look at this, there's, there's a lot of features here that you can help build out your applications. Like you've got the spatializer for audio, the lip sync information here for, for the different tools for Unity and Unreal. Audio pack, ambisonics, ADB drivers, if you don't have them for whatever reason, and tons of SDKs. There, there's a lot here baked in. And of course, the mixed reality capture tool for content creators like myself and others, you can download all of that from within the Oculus Developer Hub. But the piece that I like best, and this is not yet available for just normal consumer use, is if you click on my device and you have your Quest connected, like right now, I have my Quest right here connected via USB-C cable to my PC. So if I click on my device, I can see all of the device information and also all the unknown sources for files that are installed upon my Quest. And I can also shut down and restart the Quest. I can do all kinds of things manipulating it. I can switch on ADB over Wi-Fi instead of being connected to the USB-C cable. Um, I can capture a screenshot from within the Quest right now. I can record video from the Quest. I can cast the device to my PC. And that's the key thing. Like right now, there's not really an easy first party way to do that. I use a program called Air Receiver right now. Well, I was until I hit this button right here. And when I click on casting, it's actually connecting to the Quest right now. And there it is. So right there, you can see my Quest is capturing, uh, and it does capture both audio and video. So if I go into an application, let's, let's just launch Agency here, which is an application by uh, Anti-Cleric and Iris VR. Recently featured it in a video. This takes just a moment to load up. And there it is, streaming to the PC, nice, clean, exactly like you would see if you were recording video to the Quest. I'll go ahead and stop now. But I just wanted to give a general hint that this is available for other content creators and for developers that, like, this is a pretty powerful tool set that's now available uh, and Free, free to download from oculus.com. Super thankful to Facebook for it, putting this all together in a nice easy package because these tools, like I said, were a lot harder to get to previously. Um, happy developing, happy playing, happy content creating. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye now.